What is good, Ape Nation? It's your boy Stock J back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about how I think the AMC squeeze is going to play out. I'm going to go over some updates and some big things you should be paying attention to regarding AMC to do your own due diligence and learn about the upcoming future. But before I get started, I have to mention two quick things. First of all, I'm not a financial legal taxation expert, so don't take this as financial legal taxation advice. Also, if you can, please smash that like button if you want to see more videos like this. And I'll be able to see what benefits the entire Ape community as a whole. It helps us become more confident in our conviction and just learn more about the overall price movement and all that good stuff about AMC. So in this video, I'm not going to be doing too much of my technical analysis i'm going to talk about something regarding technicals but let's just talk about some big pieces of news so as you can see for the past month amc has been on this upward trajectory as we have entered the bullish cycle but look at some big piece of news coming out in terms of the fundamentals for amc adam aaron just tweeted this just a couple of days ago actually but i just want to talk about it why because it relates to what i'm about to talk about and i know that you could say I'm maybe one to two days late. Yeah, I totally get that. But I'm talking about this right now specifically because I want to talk about something really, really big regarding AMC. But before I talk about the big thing I want to talk about regarding the squeeze and all that stuff, let's just go over these pieces of news. So first off, Adam Aaron put on his Twitter that Cinema History by ticker symbol AMC or AMC Theaters in is basically launching as they are launching a 25 plus million dollar national advertising campaign never done before by any theater chain our magical and powerful commercial star oscar winner nicole kidman explaining why seeing a movie at an amc is so incredibly special now this is going to be absolutely amazing for amc not just as a company in terms of its fundamentals but this will bring in most definitely in my opinion bring in institutionalized investors as well as amc is not just looking good it's not just like a squeeze stock it's also looking good for its fundamentals so unlike everyone out there i'm actually going to be holding amc uh, shares even after the squeeze at least some of them because i still believe in the company in the future and all that good stuff so amc is just doing so 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 well especially because they have oscar winner nicole kidman on their side and this advertising campaign is probably gonna make more people think about amc and as more people think about amc guys that could potentially lead to more people watching videos and end up learning about this amc short squeeze and that could actually bring in more apes so this could just be adam aaron playing 3d chess out there trying to get more people involved in this movement because he knows a lot more than he's allowed to say because obviously he's the ceo there's only so much he can say but i just want to put it out there guys this could be absolutely huge for amc when do we ever see theater companies um you know reporting this much money to be advertised with it's absolutely amazing so another thing i want to talk about this actually was tweeted yesterday where charles payne said that listen up ticker symbol amc investors and haters ceo adam and in on the claiming countdown today discussing big ad spend and latest on corporate strategy the fundamental proposition just got a lot better but i know you just like the dang stock tune in Basically, this guy is now talking even more about AMC. He has talked about how he believes there's going to be a squeeze and all that stuff. So there's even more coverage for AMC, not just on TV, but also in other places as they're going to be big ads and more and more people are talking about them. Now, look at this right over here. I believe it's this tweet right over here. Look at what Liz Clayman just said. She said AMC, ticker symbol AMC, CEO Adam Adam Aaron to claim in countdown. We have made contact with GME GameStop on a partnership. We're not ready to say what it is, says AMC now playing on the fence to get folks back to the theaters with epic $25 million ad spend. So in this video, I'm not going to go into too much specific details about the GameStop partnership with AMC, but I'm just going to talk about the big thing I, that I want to talk about for this video is the fact that, look, now Liz Clayman is now tweeting about AMC. So AMC... They have $25 million in advertising coming up for the upcoming year. Okay, Charles Payne keeps talking about it. It's all over the news. Liz Clayman is now talking about it, and they want to collab with GME. I'm telling you guys, this movement is going to go absolutely crazy. If you had bought AMC just a few months ago, I want to let you know, congratulations, guys. You are early to the movement. If you buy it right now, you are probably early to the movement as well. Now, you might think I'm a crazy idiot for saying that, but I kid you guys not. There are people out there that are holding just as little as 14 shares 15 shares, I don't care, guys. 
whoever has at least one share, you are still an ape. Even if you have 0.1 shares, you're still part of the community. You're still part of this. So I want to say huge shout out to you. You're still part of this movement. You are helping make AMC absolutely amazing. So specifically when it comes to the squeeze and the MOAS, and that's probably one of the videos, one of the reasons why you clicked on this video, excuse me, that's probably why you clicked on this video because you want to know about what I think is going to happen for the MOAS. So I want you guys to learn about one specific thing, and that is the beta. So beta is calculated using regression analysis a beta of one indicates that the securities price tends to move with the market so if a stock has a positive beta or at least one that means it moves with the overall market but when you look at amc stock okay there another stock could have a 0.5 beta okay that means it's half as volatile but when you look at amc stock it has a negative beta it's a negative beta stock that means that a beta less than zero, which would indicate an inverse relation to the market, is possible but highly unlikely. So AMC is very unique in one way. And the reason I'm saying that is because it tends to be on these upward momentums. These big, big, big green days, these big moves tend to happen when the overall market is down. Now, today, obviously, or at least yesterday, AMC was a little bit in the red. But overall, what I'm trying to tell you is this tends to happen. It's not always going to happen, but this tends to happen. So there are going to be days where PayPal tends to be down, okay? Amazon's going to tend to be down, or it may fluctuate. Neo, PayPal. The Nasdaq, they may be down and down and down and down because they, they tend to represent the entire market as a whole. They tend to. They, they don't always do that. They tend to. AMC, on the other hand, is the opposite. AMC tends to be green when the overall market is red. AMC tends to be red when the overall market is a little bit more on the green side. It tends to be that way. Once again, I'm not saying always. It just tends to be that way because it's a negative beta stock. So when AMC has this very, very interesting movement that's very, very uncommon, just as this article right over here says from Investopedia, it tends to be very, very uncommon for stocks to move the way AMC is moving. So why am I telling you this? And I want to ask you a question. What happens if there is this big correction a lot of people are talking about? A lot of people keep saying that there's going to be a huge correction coming as the entire market is overvalued. And that's most definitely possible and most definitely true. I, I will agree with that the market is overvalued, but I don't think the correction is going to be that bad or as bad as people say. I'm not a financial advisor, so this is not financial advice, but based off my opinion and for entertainment, I do think that we may see a correction next year, guys, in 2022 maybe early next year, maybe maybe by mid to next year, maybe, maybe in mid 2022, that's when we may see a big correction. Like when you see companies like Tesla, guys, the stock market should have been a lot more red than how green it, it has been over the past year, especially with what happened in 2020, especially as the fundamentals of companies have brought share prices down. Because for instance, Tesla's deliveries did drop in 2020, yet their stock price exploded over the past year. There were times where their, their deliveries dropped, there were times bad things happened, yet Tesla is so green. Yet the entire, you know, the entire market is just so overvalued. So what will happen if there's this big correction you see the Nasdaq drop maybe 20, 30, 40% within a couple of weeks next year. Like within a one, a few week period, what if there's this huge drop? What if Tesla has this huge drop? What's going to happen, guys? What's going to happen to AMC? What do you think is going to happen? I believe, based off my experience, my knowledge, and my you know intelligence, I think that that's when the squeeze is going to happen. Not just this, these big moves. I think AMC is going to continue to have big upward trends, maybe some red time, red days, more upward trends. It's going to keep going up and up and up and up and may even reach the hundreds by next year. However, when AMC is in the $100 range, the 100s, what's going to happen, the reason I think AMC could go that high by next year is because of all these things coming out. AMC has the $25 plus million dollar, you know, national advertising campaign. All the hedge funds that are actually buying and holding AMC, a lot of them shorted, but a lot of them are holding it too. Charles Payne, all these things on the news, all the, the fact that they have a potential collab, uh, you can see right here, a collab, a partnership with GME. AMC is going to go to probably 100 just from a FOMO rally. I could totally see that happening. It's eventually going to gain tons and tons of support and much higher numbers. And soon it's going to go so high that when the squeeze happens, this thing is going to go so crazy. It's going to be the mother of all short squeezes. And I think 
that the hedge funds are waiting to get a bailout. They want a bailout to come when the market crashes. That's what they're waiting for. That's what they want. So that's when I think the squeeze is going to happen. Now, obviously, I'm not a fortune teller. I'm not 100% right about everything. As you guys know, some of my predictions are right. A lot of the times they are right. A lot of the times they can be wrong because there are nuances. But I just want you guys to know that's what I think is going to happen. And for you guys who are new to this, are you willing to wait this out? Are you willing to have diamond hands and wait for AMC to squeeze, whether it takes a year from now? Are you willing to do that? Are you prepared for that, guys? There are people out there that are saying AMC will squeeze tomorrow, next week, next month, in a couple of weeks. It's possible. It's definitely might squeeze tomorrow. It might squeeze in a couple of weeks. Maybe it will. Who knows? But the squeeze is on the table. And when it happens, it's going to be so crazy. And I believe it's going to happen when we see a big, big, big correction in the market. That's what I think is going to happen. So I'm not going to go into too many more specific details. I just want to talk about when I think the MOAS will happen. And I did go over some updates and big pieces of news. But I just want you all to know that. I want you all to be familiar with this notion. And I just wanted to put it out there, okay? So thank you so much for listening, guys. I'm very, very confident in AMC's future. It has massive potential. Adam Aaron is doing great. The entire company is doing great. There's huge, 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 huge potential for a full more rally and more people to get involved. And the future is just so bright for this company. So patience is key, guys. Patience is a virtue. Be patient and do not ever give up on your dreams. Do not ever quit. We keep pushing forward and we are going to win. So thank you so much for listening, guys. I hope you, I hope you have a great rest of the day. And I will definitely see you on the next one. Peace out.